Hi guys, my name is Megan Hine. Welcome to my channel. If you are new here, I make videos on all things Eco Beauty. And today I've got another foundation review for you. I'll be talking about the 14E Cosmetics Aloe Nourish Foundation. So if you're interested in finding out my thoughts on this foundation, keep on watching. Okay, so let's dive right into the review. As I mentioned in the intro, I'm going to be reviewing the 14E Cosmetics Aloe Nourish Foundation. This foundation has SPF 23, is one fluid ounce, and costs $44. So it's definitely on the pricier side, however, I'm willing to spend that on a really good quality foundation. So I love the packaging of this product. Um, it's in a nice frosted hard plastic tube, and it's got a great pump. Um, I love the pump. You can really control the amount of product that comes out. One full pump is actually too much for me. So I usually do about half a pump and then go back with a little more if I need some more coverage. So this brand was created by a makeup artist. Her name is Emma Fortini and she created this foundation along with a tinted moisturizer. So right now the foundation and the tinted moisturizer are the only two products in their line and the foundation is toxin-free, all-natural, cruelty-free, paraben-free, and vegan. So there's some really great claims. So I use the shade 5.5 Chai, and they currently have seven different shades. So a pretty wide shade range. They've got cool undertones and warmer undertones. I know they are coming out with a darker shade. I believe it's called Earth, which if you're my skin tone, in the cooler months and you need something a little darker in the warmer months should be perfect for us. So I'm definitely going to get my hands on shade Earth for the summertime. So one great thing that 14E Cosmetics offers is their sample program. So you can go on their website www.14ecosmetics.com and you can actually purchase two samples. This is the sample size. They give you quite a bit of product in this little uh, jar. So you get two of these for $6 plus shipping and handling. So if you do not know your shade or you think you might be between two shades, it's definitely a great option. You can try before you buy. Um, if you're not sure if you want the foundation versus the tint and moisturizer, you can also mix and match. So I definitely suggest you check that out. Okay, and digging in a little bit more, let's talk about the coverage. So I would say this is a true medium coverage foundation which to me means that it will even out any discoloration, will cover most of my redness, tone down some hyperpigmentation, but it's not gonna give you that completely airbrushed Barbie doll perfect skin look, which personally is not my preference. I love a medium coverage foundation. You can sheer it out if you need to, or you can build up if you need a little bit more coverage. One thing I will say is do not overdo it with this foundation. Um, I think the first few times I tried it, I did a full pump of foundation and applied it to my face. It didn't completely dry down. It stayed a bit tacky. So less is more. Use as little of the product as you can get away with um, and then just build up in specific areas. So how I apply it is I will pump out the foundation onto my hand. I'll usually then dot it all over my face and and using a flat top foundation brush, I will stipple the product around and then buff it in using small circular motions. I've got a full video featuring this foundation, um, so I'll link that below if you wanna see actually a live application. One thing I wanna mention is that this foundation, when you apply it, is not the true shade. So it does oxidize to the true color. It doesn't continue to oxidize throughout the day and change colors, uh, but when you first apply it, especially if you're buffing it in with a dense brush, you're going to get this grayish white cast. That will subside within, I'd say, 5 to 10 minutes, and you'll be left with the true color. I want to see if I can capture the color change on camera. So I'm just going to blend it. And I don't know if you can see, but it's getting this whitish gray color. So when I first got this foundation, I was pretty bummed because I was like, oh no, it's not going to match. It's way too ashy. Um, but then it oxidizes and sets to a true golden color. 
Okay, so that is the, <laughs> I don't know if you can see it, but that's the foundation on my hand. Now, if I let this sit, for like five minutes, um, it's gonna change colors. It blends really nicely. It's a thicker consistency, so you do have to work it into your skin, but you don't get any streaks. It doesn't cling to dry patches. Um, it's just a really creamy, beautiful formula. So I'm pretty sure 14 E Cosmetics describes the finish of this foundation as a, a demi matte or satin matte. I think it's more of a natural finish. Once I apply it and even set it with a little powder, there is a natural dewiness to it, which really looks beautiful on the skin. I have extremely oily skin, but I don't like matte foundations. I think they just um, take the life out of my skin. So I love this natural finish. It has such a beautiful natural glow to it, and it looks like you just have beautiful skin, which is always my goal when I'm trying to find a foundation. This probably wouldn't be my go-to for event makeup, for a wedding, somewhere where I might be photographed, um, just because of the high SPF, I would be afraid of flashback from the zinc oxide and the titanium dioxide. But for everyday wear, it's wonderful. You get the SPF included, so I don't have to worry about adding sunscreen into my routine if I'm wearing this. So as I mentioned, I have very oily skin. Um, this foundation lasts on me, I'd say about five hours before I would need to touch up or powder. Other natural finish foundations or dewy foundations uh, tend to start to slide on my face after a while. This one, even when I do start to get a little oily, stays in place. It doesn't break down and get patchy or slip off. It just lets more of a glow through. So once that gets to a point where it's starting to look a little oily, that's when I'll take a blotting paper, gently dab the foundation, and then I'll apply a little bit of translucent powder. And that's usually enough to lock it in for another three to four hours. It's definitely not water resistant or waterproof by any means. It is fairly transfer resistant. Like if I were to, let's see, put a, let's take a little piece of paper towel to my face, you don't get a ton of color coming off. The ingredients in this foundation are some of the best that I've seen for a natural foundation. I'm just gonna read them. Um, usually I wouldn't go through the whole list, but it's so short that I think I can share it with you guys. Uh, one big thing they, they like to promote on their website is that there's no water in this product, um, which I think would prolong the shelf life. If you don't have water, you're not gonna get nasty bacteria and other weird microbes growing in it. <laughs> so there's aloe vera, plant glycerin, titanium dioxide, argan oil, jojoba oil, non-nano zinc oxide, uh, Acerola, which says vitamin C next to it, cocum butter, go to cola, no idea what that is, licorice, bamboo extract, mica, rosemary, which is usually used as a natural preservative, sunflower, lecithin, <laughs> I don't know how to say that, and lavender oil, and it says it might contain iron oxides. So it does smell very strongly of lavender. If you are sensitive to essential oils, um, this might cause some irritation. I love lavender and it has such great properties for the skin, so I like that it's the only scent in this foundation. So to sum it up, I think that this foundation is worth every penny. It's a wonderful product. They've got a great shade range. Honestly, it's hard for me to find anything that I would change about it, which is pretty rare because I am so picky when it comes to foundation. Yeah, I'm happy with the coverage, the wear time, the shades. It's really great. So definitely check out their website. Um, if you don't need as much coverage as I do, maybe try their tinted moisturizer. If you guys have any questions about this foundation or um, some video requests for future reviews or tutorials, let me know in the comment section below. So if you like this kind of video, please press the like button below or subscribe to my channel. And anyway, until next time, bye guys.